Today I want to check whether attack or armor upgrades are stronger for immortals when fighting ultralisks. So I created 18 immortals and 12 ultralisks. This is equal supply. The ultras are on plus 3 armor and attack upgrade. They also have ultralisk armor and ultralisk speed. While the immortals in this round only have plus 3 attack upgrade. And we're going to take the fight and see who is going to win. Attack. Yeah, the Immortals are pretty strong. We've got 15 Immortals remaining. And now I'm disabling the attack upgrade on the Immortals and I'm activating plus 3 armor for the Immortals. Ultralisks are still on full upgrades, Immortals only armor and we're going to attack again. Yo and the immortals still win, but this time the fight was closer, we have 7 immortals remaining. So the attack upgrade is much stronger for the immortal against the ultralisk compared to the armor upgrade, but why is that? If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. We start with the attack upgrade. The immortal without the attack upgrade does 50 damage, the ultralisk fully upgraded has 7 armor, so the immortal deals 43 damage against the ultralisk. The Immortal with plus 3 attack has an attack of 65, Ultra still has 7 armor, so the Immortal does 58 damage against the Ultralisk. And if we compare the percentage increase from here to here, we find out that the Immortal with plus 3 attack does 33.9% more damage compared to unupgraded. This is considerable good. We look at the armor upgrade for the Immortal. So the Ultralisk does 44 damage per shot. The Immortal has a barrier which absorbs 100 HP. The barrier takes full damage, 44. The Immortal also doesn't have any shield upgrades. So the shields take the full 44 damage. And then the unupgraded Immortal has one armor. So this means that the Immortal HP receives 43 damage per shot from the Ultra, while the Immortal with plus 3 armor receives 40 damage from each Ultralisk hit. And then I calculated the hits needed to kill the Immortal, and you see that actually the number of hits to, to kill the Immortal doesn't decrease even if you have the armor upgrade. Because the Ultralisk has quite a strong attack with 44, and if you take 44 um, damage and you subtract the 4 armor, you still get a high damage attack of 40 damage. So the armor upgrade does nothing to protect the Immortal. You still need 10 attacks from the Ultralisk to kill the Immortal. And now, of course, we see why the attack upgrade is better for the Immortal. So the damage increase of 34% is, of course, much better than a survivability increase of 0%. And I also want to do an additional test because in the last test, we had a large number of Immortals and Ultralisks. And if you have higher army numbers, it's always better for the ranged unit. Because if you have like a big clump of immortals, all immortals can attack, while only one layer of the ultras can attack because the ultra is melee. So now I reduced the unit count to six versus four. This is again equal supply. Ultras are again on full upgrades. Immortal only are on attack upgrades. And we're going to see if this now makes a difference. We're going to attack. Yeah, not much of a difference. It's still a very good win for the Immortal. I now changed the Immortal upgrade to plus 3 armor, no attack. Ultra still on full upgrades. Attack. This is very interesting. So the Ultralisks now this time win, which means that 
if you take the armor upgrade on the immortals and not the attack upgrade and if you have small numbers so in this case six immortals versus four ultralisks the ultralisks actually get a win and now i increased the upgrade on the immortal to three three upgrades armor and attack ultra still on full upgrades and we're going to see how this fight is going to end attack Yo dudes, and on equal upgrades, it's again a win for the Immortal. So the Immortal is pretty strong against the Ultralisk, but still the attack upgrade on the Immortal is a lot stronger compared to the armor upgrade. Alright dudes, thanks for watching.